Sandra Cohen proudly refers to herself as a previvor. She's never had breast or ovarian cancer, but she has had preventative breast and ovarian surgery. After losing her mother and grandmother to the disease, Sandra lived each day wondering when she would be diagnosed. It's kind of like you're sitting on a time bomb, waiting for cancer to occur. And it really does a number on you mentally to deal with that every single day. We've known for several years that removing the ovaries decreases the risk of ovarian cancer and breast cancer. Um, but what we've been able to clearly demonstrate now is that that reduction in risk translates to women living longer. Dr. Susan Domchek from the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine and co-authors studied more than 2,400 women with harmful BRCA1 and 2 mutations in 22 centers around the world between 1974 and 2008. The women were also followed until the end of 2009. Women who had their ovaries removed had a decrease in the risk of breast cancer, a decrease in the risk of ovarian cancer, and in addition, they were less likely to die of breast cancer, less likely to die of ovarian cancer, and also had an improvement in their overall survival. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We were able to specifically look at women who've never had a previous cancer versus those who've had pr prior breast cancer and see and make sure that the impact of these interventions is the same in both of those groups. Researchers were also able to look at women with BRCA1 and 2 mutations separately. Although they have similar symptoms, they are distinct. The risk of breast cancer, for instance, was decreased by 40% in women who had BRCA1 mutations and 60% in women who had BRCA2 mutations. Um, and she's gone, undergone genetic testing, found to have a gene mutation, and further individuals in her family have been tested as well. But one of the most important aspects of this study is that women who have a strong family history of breast and ovarian cancer should really consider getting genetic testing. Sandra did that. And after talking with her physician, family members, and other women who faced the same decision, she decided to go ahead with the surgery. When you can actually see someone who's gone through it and they look great and they, they feel great, it gives you the empowerment to move on and to take action. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.